Today we'd like to demonstrate how to find the air content of concrete according to ASDM C 173. The tools required for this test are the appropriate size mallet, a concrete scoop, a strike off bar, a 5 8 inch diameter taffy rod with hemispherical ends, a volumetric air meter, and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Collect your concrete sample according to ASTM C172. To start the test, dampen the inside of the bowl. Using the scoop, fill the bowl with concrete in two layers. Moving the scoop around the perimeter of the bowl, fill the mold approximately half of its volume. Rod the layer 25 times, making sure you distribute the rods uniformly over the cross section. Tap the outside of the mold 10 to 15 times with a mallet to close the voids left by the tamping rod. Use a scoop to completely fill the container with concrete. Rod the layer 25 times, making sure you penetrate the first layer by about 1 inch. Distribute the rods uniformly over the cross section. Tap the outside of the mold 10 to 15 times with a mallet to close the voids left by the tamping rod. After tapping with the mallet, a slight excess of concrete above the rim is acceptable. Add or remove concrete as necessary. Strike off excess concrete with the strike off bar. Wipe the flange of the bowl clean. Dampen the inside of the top half of the meter. Attach it to the bowl, creating a watertight seal. Fasten the clamp. Insert the funnel into the air meter. Add approximately 500 milliliters or one pint of water. Add the isopropyl alcohol. Most tests require about a thousand milliliters or two pints. Add additional water until it appears in the neck of the top section near the zero mark. Remove the funnel. Adjust the liquid level with the syringe by adding or removing liquid until the bottom of the meniscus is level with the zero mark. Attach and tighten the cap, producing a watertight seal. Quickly invert the meter, shake the base, and return the meter to the upright position. Do not invert the meter for more than 5 seconds at a time, repeating this process for a minimum of 45 seconds. This shaking procedure should loosen the concrete free in the bowl. Next, place the meter on a solid surface. Tilt the meter approximately 45 degrees. Vigorously roll the meter a quarter to a half turn forward and back several times, quickly starting and stopping the roll. Turn the base a third turn and repeat the rolling procedure for approximately one minute. If at any time the liquid is leaking, the test is invalid. Loosen the cap and allow the liquid level to stabilize. The liquid level is stable when it does not change for more than 0.25% within a two minute period. If the liquid level does not stabilize within six minutes, the test is invalid and you will have to rerun the test with a new sample using additional alcohol. If there's more than 2% foam in the neck, the test is invalid. When the liquid level is stable, read the bottom of the meniscus to the nearest 0.25%. This is the initial meter reading. Retighten the cap and repeat the rolling procedure. Vigorously roll the meter a quarter to a half turn forward and back several times and repeat the rolling procedure for approximately one minute. Set the meter upright, loosen the cap, and allow the liquid level to stabilize. If by chance the liquid level is not visible, add calibrated cups of water to the meter until you can see the liquid. Record the number of cups of water added. After the liquid level has stabilized, our results are within a quarter percent of the initial reading. Record the result. 
This is the second and final reading. If the second reading differs from the initial reading by more than 0.25%, record the second reading and repeat the rolling procedure. If the third reading of the liquid level has not changed more than 0.25% from the second meter reading, record the third reading as the final. Otherwise, the test is invalid. Before disassembling the base, pour out the liquid. Remove the clamp. Remove the lid. Discard the contents. Examine the base for portions of undisturbed, tightly packed concrete. If such material is present, the test is invalid. The air content is equal to the final meter reading minus the correction for large amounts of alcohol plus the number of calibrated cups of water added. Report the air content to the nearest 0.25%.